Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Eden here. Welcome to a new video. Check out these kids. They're playing with <laughs> these Furos that I got them from a while back. If you guys remember when I found these, literally went through I think like 30 of them. So, found these that worked. Oh, it's going! <laughs> These are just like the coolest things. Alright, I just got in the car and I don't know how this always happens. I told you guys this yesterday that I was gonna try and be early so I could get to the um to the veterans thrift by 8 a.m. and it's 8.04 already. So um uh, I got sidetracked. I woke up early and I was trying to do um I I've been trying to do that thing recently where you wake up at like 5 30 a.m. to get like your day started earlier and it's not too far off from when I usually wake up I usually wake up from around like 6 30 to 7 7 30 like that um, but I really wanted to wake up a little bit earlier to have more hours in the day and time just escaped me <laughs> I was just trying to do like all this stuff um, but I got like a lot of other stuff done I packaged two which is awesome so I was able to get everything in the car right now so we're gonna head out to um, go thrifting and we're gonna go to the post office and then we're gonna come back home and then I want to do um, some decor stuff with you guys so um, yeah so this should be exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna head out right now because I'm ready. I'm ready. We just got here. I'm super duper excited. I'm walking from the far away parking lot because there's already a ton of people here. So let's go inside. Man, and I am still walking. I feel like I've been walking for like three miles already. <laughs> okay, but not really. But let's go. Walking faster, 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 faster. I feel like they're already like thrifting all this stuff. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like you feel like you're like five minutes late to the store and you feel like all the best things were like purchased in that first five minutes. But here we are, uh, so excited. Veterans Thrift, I love you. Let's go inside. All right, you guys, we are going through the handbags. Oh, this coach is still here. This one's orange, so it's still not on sale. Oh, uh, this is Vince Camuto. This one. Let's see. Also an orange tag, but this one's $10. Oh, this butterfly print. The fake Burberry. Oh, they still have this one. What was this again? Is it a Kohlhan? Yeah, this one is $20, so it's only 25% off today. I think I'm gonna wait on it still. Let's see, maybe we can find some other bags. Okay, let's head over onto the other side. Okay, we are on the other side. They have a bunch of like little coach bags. This one's 20 and it's a red tag, and red tags like never go on sale from what I heard. They, um, I think they only, see, they said they only go on sale like during special occasions, like, like the 4th of July sale or Black Friday or something like that. Actually, Black Friday, I don't think they actually have a 4th of July sale. Um, this one's 20, so it's gonna be 25% off for this coach. Man, I think like someone already got to this area because there were more things yesterday and then now there's like nothing. <laughs> totally okay, let's head out and check out the rest of the store. See what I mean? Like these things are just full to the brim. People are like thrifting intensely. Oh my gosh, they still have these sequin pants. All right, we are in the luggage backpack section Massimo Sometimes they have the best stuff back here, but you know what I honestly feel like they haven't really restocked anything since yesterday Either that or that one lady put everything in her car already <laughs> She is amazing. She's I always see her. She's always here She's an amazing thrifter
some of the furniture pieces. So I'm looking at the sunglasses. Those like tortoiseshell ones are Fendi's. And there's Oscar de la Renta's. Um, I think those gray ones are Dolce and Gabbana. And those big tortoise ones are Prada. There's Carrera, there's Furla. These are the fake Chanel shoes. There's some mark by marks right there. I am just going through Shulky Art Love Space. The home goods, the platters, and all that stuff. The little corn. It's so cute. Alright you guys, check out these Adidas. They're gonna be twelve fifty, I think. Because they're, they're they think they're seventy five percent off. Originally fifty. Not too shabby, I kinda like these. Okay you guys, so I just found some really cool Todd's boots, which is awesome. They're men's boots, size ten and a half. I think I need them. Um they're a size or they're size they're size ten and a half, but they're fifty bucks and with my luck these are probably blue and not green. So these probably are not on sale, but I feel like that's worth it for Todd's boots. And these look to be in a really good condition. Also Look at these coach shoes, they're see-through right there. And I also found these um, Doc Martin, uh, what are these called? I think they're called Mary Janes, right? Yeah, I think that's what they're called, Doc Martin Mary Janes. And I can't tell the price, I think it's 60? Not too sure. Alright you guys, I found this little, it's a Schaefer bag. The little tassel thing kind of came undone and I think it can be repaired it's only two dollars um, it retailed for 190 so might be I don't know might be worth it to try to fix it <clears throat> all right you guys I thought I wasn't gonna buy anything I bought all this stuff but now we're heading back to the car all right, you guys, we are back inside the car. I cannot believe all the stuff we ended up finding. I was honestly kind of like, oh, I didn't find anything I was gonna head out. But you know what? I was like, I'm just gonna cut look at a couple more things. I found a couple of really fun t-shirts for me and John. They ended up being like 75% off, which was awesome. So they're probably like, they were like less than a dollar each. Um, I remembered dad wanted these books and I took a picture of what they were um, when we were there last with dad. I think it was on Friday and I found like half of them so that was awesome too. I was able to find his books that did go on sale so I got those as well. And the Todd's and the Adidas shoes were both 75% off so I got them each for about $12.50 which was awesome. So right now we're going to head out to the Goodwill and then go home and yeah, so let's go. All right, you guys. Now we're at the Goodwill. Let's go inside. There's a couple new things in here. Looks like a couple of coach bags. Oh, these handles are awful. They have this cute little clock right there. What is this? Molly and... Oh, it's a plate. <laughs> Snow White and the Prince. Oh, there's a B. Mikowski bag right here. $5.99. Sold. Cards Against Humanity game. It's like a little mini red tripod. How much is that? $3.99? Do I need this cute little tripod? Maybe. Okay, so there's literally this other tripod. It's a Fox tripod. It's brand new. It's only $7.99. I also spotted this little coach bag, but the fabric is tearing, so it's not the best. But these tripods that I got are pretty cute, so I am pretty excited about that. I found the large tripod that I found. It's $50 on eBay. Alright you guys, we are looking through the rest of the handbags. Oh, there's like this little coach bag. 
how much is it? $7.99. It's missing the little dongle though. Let's see what else we can find here. Here's another coach bag. This one, $14.99. Um, the leather is very damaged to say the least. Kind of looks like a dog, like a little dog got to it maybe. Checking out the rest of the stuff they have. I think they brought out anything new in terms of handbags. Oh, this is like, I think this is like a Forever 21 bag. Saw this last time, yeah. What is this, like a relic or something? There it is. Okay, let's check out the rest of the store. I didn't even notice these down here. This was American something. And this one is Michael Kors. This one is $14.99. Threads are like going a little nuts, but that's like a super easy fix. This is pretty cool. This is a maybe too. And now here we are on my favorite sections, which is the tchotchke section. You guys know how much I love home decor. Oh, the doggy. That's like what, like a golden retriever? I think I have almost the same exact bookends. We've had them for the longest time. I don't even remember a time where we didn't have them. This is cool. The Eiffel Tower, um, what's it called? Candle holder? Oh, what is this? It's one of those like wine holders? Whoa, it is. Now we're in the, oh, look at the little bird. Okay, looking at the vases. Oh, this little kitty cat tea kettle. <laughs> They're like slowly bringing out like a ton of Halloween stuff at Sapers, they already have. Halloween, um, Halloween costumes out, which, man, school hasn't even started yet, but, I mean, get an early start. <laughs> I always, like, want, like, I think one of the things I really want to find is, like, maybe, like, a Liadra or whatever, however you pronounce it. I think that would be so cool to find one. <gasps> is this a cat planter? It is, it's a little cat. Is that like part of him broken? Is this a Le Creuset perhaps? Oh, it is a Le Creuset. $7.99. Oh. Trying to decide if I should get it. The inside is a little, um, What's that word? Rusting? Yeah, it's getting a little rusty in there, so. Don't know. Might leave that there. Let's see what else we have. How cute are these little fish like bowl things? $1.99 though, purple. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the backpack section. That's like literally the cleanest it's been in like a long time. <laughs> 
Workout equipment, toys. Oh, Lizo actually has that Lightning McQueen thing. I think it's like for popcorn that you got from uh, Disneyland. Okay, so I'm looking at the furniture. Let's see if there's anything new. I'm a little sad that they got the cabinets that I wanted already, but you know what? It's totally okay. It wasn't meant to be. Um, maybe I'll find something else amazing, right? Who knows? Ooh, look at this train set. Uh, North Pole Express. This little desk. These Adirondack chairs. They even have one of these wet dry bags. Alright, you guys, I'm pretty excited I got those tripods so <laughs> let's go home now I am back at the house and okay so check it out these are all of the pillows and stuff that I got um, from today's haul which would be yesterday's when you guys watched this video so I'm gonna be putting this stuff out here I think it's gonna look fantastic uh, but I just have to like clean up a little bit <sighs> like leaves are everywhere and yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing at the what is that was there like some sort of animal over there digging a hole mm. okay um so i'm just gonna clean up here just really quickly and okay so i had this idea too about filming a video where i use the same home decor items and then i use them in like maybe like three to four different spaces and how different they look because I love doing that just like mixing around home decor furniture pieces just around the house and how new and fresh it makes everything feel even though you're not buying anything new you're just using those same pieces over and over and I think I don't know like I feel like it's I don't know that's like that's like one of my philosophies just like moving around like home decor stuff to make the house and stuff feel new all the time so um let me know if you guys want to see something like that because I think that would be pretty cool or like interesting, right? To see how like those things look in each a different space. I would probably do um, the living room and then probably the courtyard or the, the patio little area outside. And then I would probably also do this area over here as well. And then maybe the loft upstairs, maybe the library. So that's like how many one two three four that's already five spaces and then maybe like a bedroom also so I don't know it might be cool first things first I wanted to move okay I wanted to do something with this plant I love this plant so so much it's one of my favorite plants I wonder how she I, no I think I really like this plant in here but I'll see how she looks but I've been th I was thinking about putting that plant in that planter right there Okay, not my most favorite. I'm gonna put her on the other side. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am just, I'm loving them right there. I think they look fantastic. Definitely need like a third piece, and I think I might put back the, the other plant. So let's try that out and see how it looks. Hey right, guys, so I ended up moving or switching out the planter. Uh, I put that planter, which used to be over there, um, the round one was just too big to put here and Yeah, so I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out something else because when I want to get a third face vase and put it on there and I think the round um, Actually the round tray isn't too small isn't too small to hold three It's too small to hold three with the books So I would probably have to move the books figure out a different way to stagger them But right now I'm really living for this and really enjoy it and I think that's how it's going to be for the time being. I really, 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 really like it. So I'm very excited. I think this is looking fantastic. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I, d I definitely want to get a third face face. I think they are so unique. They're so cool. And I think I'm going to get the guy um, that was over at the potting shed. So let me know down below what you guys think. And dad... <laughs> <laughs> I was showing dad the names of the different planters and stuff that you guys, um, that you guys 
were giving me for that particular head. Um, everyone, or well, my dad actually kind of decided on a name before he even looked at them. And he was like, oh, like he, already, like, he told my mom, like, what well, I should name it. And then he was looking through the comments and he was like, oh, Aphrodite. And my mom was like, oh, that's what you told me before. So I think we're going to stick with Aphrodite, even though we already have an Aphrodite plant. But that's okay, because this is a planter and I guess they can have the same name. Um, and I call the other one Afro for short anyway, and that's the air plant. So she is Aphrodite. That's Jane. We're going to get a third one and we're going to name that eventually. So for everyone that said Aphrodite... Awesome, thank you. That was so much fun. Um, but now, let's head over to the backyard. And I'm gonna just clean up right here really quick first and then we're gonna get to work on this area. Hey guys, I think it's about 30 minutes to 45 minutes later. And I watered the plants and I kind of swept up a little bit. So this is the first thing that I wanted to put out there. And... Like I wish I could find another one that was exactly like that, but I feel like this is kind of like in the same kind of like family-ish. Plus it's really fun. Plus I got this for super cheap at the Goodwill outlet. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Who doesn't like ice cream? Um, so I, got, I believe I got this for $2.50 at the outlet, which I think is a great price for a new outdoor carpet. I'm trying to rip this off. And there we go. So there's that. <laughs> now let's tackle the rest of this. Um, um, yeah, okay, let's do this. So this is kind of how it looks right now. I'm not gonna like clean it up to like fix the pillows or anything because I'm gonna fix them up again right now. But this is how this space is currently looking. And then I'll show you guys how it looks with the new pillows. Okay, so right now I'm just kind of playing around with the pillows. I'm not going to have that many pillows there. I know that's like a lot. Though you can definitely have that many pillows if you want. And it would be quite comfy. Um, and these are really, really large outdoor sofas. Like, uh, I think they are about maybe three feet deep or more. And I think they're nine. This sofa is nine feet long. Something like that. So it can hold a lot of pillows and still see a lot of people. Um, but I'm just trying to like decide what pillows I want on there and what I don't. And that's kind of like my process. I just kind of like throw everything on there and decide what I like. The more I look at it, the more I kind of like it though. So, um, but before I actually settle on what pillows are going to be here, I want to make sure that I have enough to evenly distribute throughout the space because I do have this here. I don't know if I want to do pillows on each of those, um, the lounges, but we're going to have, I think I'm going to move, I'm going to have like a new seating area right over there in that little section because it's so like kind of like random and like right there and I want to have like a little sitting area over there um, next to the cooking area if that makes sense because um, right now I have that over there, which I do like, but I think I want to move it. That is a good spot, though, too, for that furniture. I feel like it looks really good there, and I love that it can go over there if I wanted to, like, have a seating area over there, and the furniture is light enough to just move around really easily. Um, but it's not a very practical area to have cushions because the wind is so strong, the wind will throw the cushions into the pool. So... Um, I'm going to actually move it over here, which is where mom kind of wants it. So I'm going to try it out, see how it looks, and I'll show you guys how it turns out right now. So I'm going to move it. Alright you guys, so I'm taking a break from outside because it's literally 102 degrees right now. And mom is making doo -doo -doo -doo, a delicious salad. <gasps> looks so fresh and yummy. I cannot wait to eat some. So and this is the thrifted um, Emile Henry casserole baking dish thing that I got recently at the Goodwill. Such an awesome find. Okay, so I'm really excited for this new little tripod that I got. I know it's like probably like really vintage, but I love the size of it and I'm just gonna carry it like around the house. So it's perfect. All right, and now I'm using the tripod. Oh my gosh, I kind of love it. I'm a little bit obsessed. Um, I'm actually gonna use, oh, look at 
little thing on my face. Um, I'm actually going to use it right now, and we're going to rehab a quick wallet in the vlog. Oh my gosh, we're doing so much stuff. Um, also, I'm taking a break on outside because it's literally so hot. It's like in triple digits. It's just so hot outside to be moving furniture. I was also like not wearing a hat or anything for like 30 minutes while being outside, and now... I am like five shades darker, I feel like. I'm really tan. <laughs> so, and look at this tan line. Oh my gosh. It's really hard. Like, oh my gosh. That's like my farmer's tan is horrendous. Uh, anyway, okay. So let's get to it. I have a wallet down here somewhere. Where did it go? Where is the wallet that I wanted to work on? Oh, here it is. Okay. Now, this one is going to be an, a pretty awesome transformation, I think. And this is just going to be a minimal effort, really. And it is this Hobo International wallet. Look, look at that. It is... It's a beautiful wallet. The wallet is actually in really great condition. But the, the color could use, like, a little touch-up, right? You can see that it's, like... You see? Yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. Also, this thing had a cute little carrying case, but it has like a hole, it's ripped and everything, so this is gonna go in the trash. But the case, like the thing itself, like it's so cute and it's such a bright red color. I wish I could show it to you again, but I already showed it to you guys anyway, but um, I don't know, it's like a really fun little vintage um, tripod and... I'm really excited. I've been, I've been wanting, like, a little tripod like this. And you know how, like, they sell, like, those little tripods that, like, Casey Neistat uses and, like, all the YouTubers use? And, like, I was looking into it, like, those are pretty expensive. And I'm like, I'm really cheap. So I just, like, was so excited when I found this little red one. It's literally perfect. I love it. And it's all metal, too, which is really nice. So it's, like, really well made. And I am just pretty excited about it. You guys, this is like literally the cutest thing. It has like a little thing and I can like turn it and then it raises. This is so amazing. Oh, uh, where has this tripod been my entire life? It's literally life changing. It's so much fun. Okay, anyway, um, now that we have this, I'm just going to work on this little um, post office little thing that I got. Like it's, I don't know, it's just one of my, ooh, I hate when they put this stickers on the leather you can see that it's like totally lifting off like that top little layer of color but the only like the only kind of good thing is that's kind of like what happened to the rest of it like you know like you're not yeah that's gonna be fine anyway so we're gonna just clean that off because it's a little bit sticky and we're just gonna be um actually you know what it's like super sticky I'm going to use uh, it's just some nail polish remover and a Q-tip. And then that's how we're going to get rid of that residue. And ensure that it comes off. And we're not like concerned about the color lifting or anything because we're going to be... Um, what's it called? We're going to be dyeing it anyway. Or like refreshing the color with the dye. So yeah, it'll be totally fine. And this nail polish remover... It's pretty awesome, so it's just going to clean up all that residue really nicely, and yeah, so, see like it picks up some of the color, but like it's not really too bad, and now it is nice and dry, so there's that, and a lot of you, um, especially because I was posting on my Instagram stories, some hand, like some rehabs that I was doing, just a color touch up for black leather. Honestly, this is it. This is just the perfect product. It's the Kiwi leather dye. When you buy this, you could, um, it's actually more expensive if you buy it, I think, on Amazon. It's really cheap if you just go to Walmart or Target and it's just in the Sioux section. There's usually a Kiwi stand that has all of the Kiwi products. Just make sure that you buy the leather dye. It does also come in a leather polish. And the leather polish, it will like rub off and it's not as steadfast as the leather dye. So make sure it's the leather dye. Again, it's just because the bottles look exactly the same. You just have to make sure it says leather dye and not leather um, polish, okay? So there it is. And it has a really nice sponge applicator. And you're just going to shake this guy up really nicely. And you just kind of like push down on the... 
surface that you're working on and then that's going to just get the dye rolling and it's okay if you get it on the hardware it just like we're just gonna use um, either a q-tip or like something to wipe it off but this color refresh is super duper easy and it's just gonna touch up that letter le letter leather beautifully and I just like to go like in a circular motion clockwise and then again counterclockwise just to make sure that you get into all the nooks and crannies of the leather you can actually just open this up which is really what's really nice about this wallet too so you can already see just the difference of this is the left side that we just refreshed and then this is the right side like you can like look at that it's amazing so let me actually lift you guys up just a little bit more oh how fun is that it is so fun okay so we are just working on this little surface right here all right, yeah, so there you go. A little bit more of an aerial view. You can see this side is the color, the side that we refreshed the color on, and then this side is still lacking. And sometimes what's really nice too about this product is because it doesn't really cake on the product, you can actually layer it. So um, it layers like really nicely. So you can see that it's still a little bit dark. Well, that's what's really nice about this product is it kind of matches the color of black because like you know how like the, the depth of tone or whatever varies from piece to piece and if you were just doing like a little court like a little piece of, of black that you didn't want to dye the whole thing it'll still match I don't know if that makes is that making sense what I'm saying <laughs> I hope it makes sense I think you guys will understand it like when you actually use the product but um, that's what I really like about this product too it's just so easy and simple to use so again there's that side. See, I even moved like the lighting a little bit, so I just turned it around. So you can see that this side is a lot better, and this side, you can see those marks. So now let's work on this side. I think the lighting is a little bit more dramatic on this side, so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so there's that. And now let us try this side. Again, I'm only I'm gonna just do this side, and you guys will see like that difference, because then you can compare and contrast those two sides while I work. And again, counterclockwise, and then clockwise, counterclockwise, and then up and down, left and right. Just want to make sure to get it into all those little nooks and crannies. But you can see it's already making a huge difference. Oh wait. I said I wasn't gonna work on that middle part, but I did, so. Sorry, <laughs> but you, you, can, you, you guys remember how it looks. So, this, again, this is just a really quick thing to do also. Uh, this product dries really quickly, but I wouldn't actually use it for about 24 to 48 hours, though it does become dry to the touch within just, a, like, a minute or two, actually. Um... It dries very, very quickly, but you just wanted to make sure that the product sticks onto the leather. So you're going to want to wait about, again, 24 to 48 hours. I always wait 48 hours just to be 100% um, certain that it's not going to rub off. But after that 48 hours, the leather is good to go and you can go ahead and start using it. So there we go. I think it looks fantastic and we're just gonna let it dry and then now I'm just gonna clean up I, I purposely did like a kind of a messy job so it's um, on the corners right there let me zoom in just a tad for you guys so you can see that I did get the dye right here on the corners and if it's still wet you can just use a q-tip and clean it up Like that, and then it just like kind of comes off. Do you see that? See, and it's just yeah, it's really easy. And then um, if if you if if you let it sit by accident or like miss a little spot and it's like it doesn't come off super easy with just the Q-tip without anything, that is totally okay because then you can just put a little bit of nail polish remover 
on here or um, rubbing alcohol, whatever you may have. And then, the, like, the second it makes contact with the metal and the dye, it'll just come off really, really easily. So, you do not even have to worry about, like, the metal getting dyed or anything. So, that is just no worries. Super easy. See, that's just coming off really nicely. And then there you go. It's clean, it's nice, it's beautiful. Now let's do the other side. This side has, it's been sitting on here a little bit longer. Um, cause this was the first side that we did, but it's still coming off with a little elbow grease. You just put a little bit of, um, push onto the Q-tip when you're rubbing it on the metal. And it'll just come right off. I actually kind of prefer this method. I just try to um, hit them like the hardware as quick as I can after I do like the like a coat of the dye just so that it comes off really easily because if you accidentally get a little bit of nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol or whatever on them on the leather it can like lighten it or remove the color or whatever and then you just have to do it again but that's really no problem like it's totally okay. You can, this also works if you use just like a, even a paper towel or a cloth and you can get that, um, the just dye off real easily. So you can already see that it is looking really, really good. And you can see that it's already dried to the touch. And it looks fantastic. You can see like there's... And then if you want it to get that shine again, like it kind of like has right there, all you have to do is buff this, but again, just wait until it's dry and then you just buff it with a soft cloth and then you are good to go. The interior is actually in great condition. There's just a little bit um, right here of like some discoloration. I'm just going to hit that. And again, this is because there's a lot of friction against, um, this is where the magnetic snap closure is so that's why it has like a little bit of discoloration anywhere where the, the leather gets a lot of friction it's going to lighten that's just like with any leather product though so and again we just hit it with the leather dye and then we are good to go i'm just gonna let that dry and yeah but look at how fantastic our wallet looks i think it looks so so good. Let me see if I can move this a little bit more. Ah, I'm having so much fun with this little tripod. It's so cool. Uh, I just hope it doesn't like come crashing down or something. <laughs> But yeah, look at that. It looks fantastic. It's a big difference from what it looked like before. And if you see that there's still like a couple little spots that didn't like aren't completely as dark as the rest. Like you can see right here, there's still a little bit. You can kind of see it right there in the shadow. Um, you can just hit it up again with some more dye very easily. So just get the dye and just hit it again. And usually, like, two coats is all you really need. So I'm just going to hit the whole thing with a second coat of the leather dye. And then after that, it'll be good to go. So I just love the formula of this stuff. Like, it's so awesome. And then, after we work on this, I think we might do... Are we going to do another one? Let me see if I have anything else that I can work on with you on camera in the vlog. But this is pretty much um, what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be cleaning up some handbags and stuff. And I'm going to be photographing and listing items in the shop. So, if you guys would like to check it out, it's hadrian.com. 
and I'm going to be listing a bunch of new items today which I'm really really excited about again like I wish I could list things like right when they're gonna be posting in vlogs and or videos and stuff but unfortunately my schedule doesn't allow me to do that like every single time and I try I do try to do that but um my schedule has just been really chaotic recently so unfortunately I can't and plus the app doesn't let me like see like I wish like it would give me the feature to um kind of like save things before they go live but it only lets you do that like at, for one item at a time which is really weird so um unfortunately that's just how the app is all right and we are all done with this i love this wallet so much like hobo wallets are so so awesome um i just got a little bit on here and this wallet is going to be pretty much done i'm just going to let it dry really well and then once it's completely dry within um 24 to 48 hours you can just buff it and then it'll get like a nice shine again and then it'll be good to go all right, you guys, so now I have this coach bag, and there is a lot of color transfer right here on this patent, and I'm going to use my rubbing alcohol and see if we can get it out. So sometimes color transfer can be removed. Um, a lot of the times, if it's set in for too long, there's really nothing you can do. Sometimes you're able to lighten it a little bit, but it's kind of just like gonna be there it's one of like the bad things about having patent leather so um let's see what happens oh some of it's coming off that is good news Ooh, ah, some of it is coming out that is so exciting <laughs> that's like almost never the case so i'm like super duper excited right now i think this is so cool um okay so a lot of it did come out so the conclusion is it was like a kind of like a topical kind of stain or it was just like a very fresh stain which could have happened while it was in storage or whatever at the thrift store um so i'm just gonna go through the bag like it it lightened up like considerably right like that was a lot darker or before now it's um, a lot lighter and I'm just gonna go oh look at this okay I'm just gonna hit up the rest of this bag with our trusty nail polish remover honestly like nail polish remover does so much not only does it remove the color from your nails but you can also remove it use it to remove stains from your handbags um, this side is a lot more um kind of like i don't want to say damaged but it has a lot more color transfer on it than the other side did so i'm gonna get some more nail polish remover and we're gonna see if we can work a little bit of magic on here come on nail polish remover I feel like it's not working as well on this side. How unfortunate is that? Poor unfortunate souls. Okay, it kind of lightened it a little bit, right? Yeah? No? Is it just my imagination that it's slightly lightening? Okay, so we're kind of like left with that. Now I have this other product that I kind of want to use and it is the Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. And I'm actually just gonna put this on there. And can I just like let it sit on the stain and see if this does anything? Um, let's cross our fingers and hope that it does something because that would be very, very exciting. Um, uh, but I'm just gonna, like, I'm literally just gonna let it sit there and percolate for a little bit, because sometimes the longer you let something sit, the more you can let it work its magic. And 
um, the more effective it will be against removing stains. So I'm just letting it sit there. Uh, the bubbles are popping and it looks like it's disintegrating. So let's just give it a go and see if it removed any of those stains. You know what? I think it made it a little bit lighter. Is it just my imagination? Can you guys tell a difference? Let me know down below in the comments, but I feel like it did make it a little bit It's definitely still there, and I don't think that any amount of, um, of, like, cleaning is really gonna move it, remove it completely, but I think we hit, did successfully lighten it up just a little bit, and there we go. So, there's that. Oh, there's also this. That is a very intense... Stain. It looks like it's actually a pen mark stain. Uh, let's see if we can use our nail polish remover to get that out. Oh, you know, I wanted to try the cleaner, the shoe cleaner, on some pen marks and see how effective that is against pen marks. And I think I have a couple items that I want to try it out on. So... And this is definitely not coming out at all, so that's totally fine. Let's see if there are any... Oh, there are marks right here, too, along the front of the bag. Looks like more pen marks or color transfer marks. Man, they are just everywhere, aren't they? Let's try this. And I'm gonna like maybe try and rub it in. Ooh. <laughs> Look how it just like snakes across. That's so much fun. I'm just gonna let that sit again. And then let me look for the um the piece that has pen marks and see if I can get pen marks out of leather. All right, now let's take this off and see what happened underneath. Ooh, you know what I do, you know, I honestly do think it makes it a little bit lighter, but I don't know, it might be my imagination. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, let's um, try this product on something else. All right, you guys, I'm here with mom. We just got to Dono Sushi. So we're super excited. We're gonna go inside and eat all we can because all you can eat sushi today. Oh, look at all the different sushi. So these are all along they all look the so delicious. Yeah. All right, we just got some more sushi. So good. Yum. We ordered a caramel apple. This is like one of our favorite things. It looks so yummy. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we just left the restaurant. Stop! <laughs> 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 so we're going home. Alright, you guys, let me show you guys what I found. I can't believe I was about to leave and that lady brought these bags. So this one is a coach. It's $7. It's not bad, right? For $7. Like, I know it's like. I think if those marks on the side might be able to come out, but it's not horrible. But it's so cute in summary. And then this orange B. Mikowski. Five bucks. Come on. And then this one was super cool. This is a Thomas Wilde bag. This little